Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the Old School Game Snob. In today's video I'm going to show you how to hide certain sections of your skeletal mesh. Uh, this can be done a couple of different ways, probably even more than that, but I'm going to show you two. Uh, the first way is in your blueprint. Alright, so in your blueprint, uh, here of course I just have a uh, skeletal mesh brought into a blueprint. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. And then in my event graph, all I've done here is uh, on begin play, hide bone by name, and I've targeted the skeletal mesh, and I've typed in the name of the bone I wanted to hide. In this case, it's the head. If you don't know what the bone name is called, you can just head into the skeletal mesh and click the bone and get the name of it. And then type in the name, and that is how you hide the name in the blueprint. You can also do this in the construction script uh, so that you don't need to uh, run time the hide event. Um, the other way to do this is in an animation graph, animation blueprint rather. Uh, and in order to do that, you will just open up your animation blueprint. I've got mine open right over here. And the way to do this is, let me show you guys. So basically what you have in your animation blueprint is nothing to start, right? That's what you got. Uh, if you use, first off, grab the local to component, local to component, and then grab the transform, transform modify bone. Uh, you can connect all of those things up like so. And at the moment, I'm going to compile that. It doesn't do anything. Um, what you need to do, of course, is select a bo bone to modify. In this case, I'm going to modify the head and compile that. Again, it does nothing. And that is because we haven't decided to do anything with it. Um, so what we're going to do here is, uh, for example, select, uh, let's say for example we're going to select the scale of the head. So on the right we have translation rotation scale. Right here, translation rotation scale. If we want the head to disappear we can set it to a value of zero. Um, that will, you know, scale zero is, is disappeared, basically. <laughs> uh, you just need to, of course, set the scale mode to replace existing, and then, well, basically it'll take your new scale into account and update it as so. Um, some other interesting things you could do, you could potentially scale it twice as big, like so. So you can really, you, you can kind of monkey around with your bones, you can make them hidden, make them bigger, you can do all sorts of interesting things with the transform modify bone node in your animation blueprint. Just make sure you've got the right bone selected here, and just make sure the default ignore is set to replace existing, or you could maybe use add to existing depending on your needs. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.